Okay, um... Hello, and welcome to Nether Survival. Today we're going to be making a world called Nether Survival, and I'm going to show you how you can make your own Nether Survival. Pretty freaking simple. So I'm going to show you all the settings you want to set, and I'll explain why. Okay, so for starters, you want to name your world, whatever the frick you want to name it, right? But you want to make sure you name it something cool, alright? Next, you want to have the default game mode as survival, because you're doing nether survival, right? The difficulty, this is optional, but I think it is suggested that you do easy. Remember, you're starting in the nether with nothing. You're starting from scratch. So, difficulty easy makes the most sense to me. Doing it on peaceful, um, that'd just be too easy. Like, you know, obviously, because it's peaceful mode. I don't think that would make sense to do a survival on. Starting map, this is pretty useless. I mean, I don't think maps really work that well in the nether, so, no. Bonus chests that will spawn in the overworld, so it won't even help. Um, the world type? That doesn't really matter, actually. It's optional, because the nether will, um, generate the same either way. I would choose flat, because what flat does is it makes it so that, um, your world doesn't lag as much. You want to have as little lag as possible, obviously, so that you don't freaking die, alright? And this will make it have to generate less, meaning that your nether won't lag as much. Because you're not even going to be using the overworld anyways. The simulation distance, you want to set this down to four chunks. And the reason I say this is because ghasts. Ghasts, ghasts, and more ghasts. Set that down to four chunks. You'll thank me in the future. Friendly fire, doesn't matter, because you're not going to be doing this multiplayer. If you are, this is optional. But I'd choose off. Short coordinates, this is optional, but I'd choose on. Fire spreads. I'd keep it on if I were you. It's a nether survival about a dimension filled with fire, so I feel like fire spread sitting on makes sense. TNT explodes. Optional, because I don't think there's a way to get a hold of sand in the nether. Mob loot. That should be on, for sure. Natural regen. You want that on. Tile drops. On. Immediate respawn. Optional. But I'd choose on, so that way you don't rage quit. Um, use experimental gameplay. Probably want that off. Activate cheats. You want that on, actually. You're gonna need that on. Always day. I would have that on, so that way daylight cycles off. So that way Minecraft doesn't lag. In fact, have daylight cycle and always day off, which it's not letting me do. Alright, then just have it on always day. That way it doesn't have to focus on the daylight cycle, which will cause less lag, because you're gonna be in the nether anyway, so it doesn't even matter. Keep inventory. This is optional, but I would choose on if I were you, okay? Let's keep inventory. You want that on. It's the nether. Mob spawning. You want that on. Mob griefing. On. Entities drop loot. On. Weather cycle. Turn that off to prevent lag. Command blocks enable. This is pretty much optional, since command blocks shouldn't put a play in this anyways. Multiplayer game. This is optional. If you want to play with your friends, have it on. If you don't, have it off. I'm going to have it off, because I'm not going to be doing a multiplayer playthrough. Um, and then your resource packs are optional. I wouldn't have any behavior packs because you're doing another survival. All right, let's do it. Press T, return, okay, so for or starters, controller view but You want to be in creative, right? The default game mode, it should be survival. So I'm going to set my personal game mode to creative and set the default to survival. Oh, what? Okay. So the reason you want to be in creative is so you can break the portal. So we're going to go set block. You want to put set block, squiggly, 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 portal, and I'll take it to the nether. All right, it makes sense. Press you just literally all you did was set controller block. view button to open Ooh, chat. Ooh, I got a crimson force of just spawn. Try not, try your best not to alter any of the terrain because you want to live off the nether. Just break the obsidian and break the portal because that was not natural. And then. I almost forgot. You don't want to do that. You don't want to miss out on this. You want to slash spawn point when you're in the nether. Slash spawn point. So that way, if you die, you don't respawn in the overworld. You are not allowed to use respawn anchors because if you do and then it disables, it'll set your spawn point back at world spawn. So, no respawn anchors, sadly. And then, you just set your personal game mode to default. And you go. So. 
We got some trees right off the bat. But we spawned in a crimson forest, which is one of the best spawns. By the way, piglins are broken in this texture pack. Don't ask me why, they just are broken, so we're gonna have to deal with that for now. Um, oh my gosh, that jump scared me. Yeah, piglins are really weird in this texture pack. We're gonna have to deal with that, okay? We're just gonna have to run as fast as we can. Oh, frick. This is why I'd suggest turning on keep inventory. Because you're not going to enjoy it without that. We've got a soul sand valley right here, but that's not going to be a fun place to have to deal with right now. Okay. We need to set up base somewhere. So we don't get constantly um, slapped by piglins. So, right here for now. You need to start off by getting yourself some wood, and then, um, from then on you're good, for the most part, for now. Alright. I need to find blackstone. I should probably get more wood. I feel like I haven't gotten enough, but I can just dig my way over there, actually, and get more. Or I could stay here at spawn. But whatever I do, I need stone. So I'm gonna need black stone. Remember, this is on easy mode. This is why I suggested you do easy. Because easy mode is hard. Easy mode. Alright. Imagine this on normal or hard. Now, one of the best things you can do about these, these guys is that... Is that they can't fit in these, these gaps, so I can easily just take these guys out, like this, like freaking Enderman, or Wither Skeletons, almost. See? And now I have food. Mainly you just use it to go get gold nuggets, but in this case, we're gonna use it to get away from the piglins. The piglins want us dead unless they see us wearing golden armor. So, if we're wearing anything gold, piglins won't attack us. So, if I can get a hold of this stuff right here, then I'm gold. Literally. I wasn't funny, I get it. That was, yeah, no, no, wait. If you laugh at that, I've actually lost faith in you as a human. Um, but yeah. Nether survivals have always been very grindy. Never really fun. But you want to build, you want to do as much as you can. So let's see how much gold this gets us. Three. So just under enough to make boots. So we need to find some more gold. Dang, are we high. Didn't I see more gold ore back there? Aha! I certainly did. Oh, frick, they see me. Alright, so this is why I'm just gonna back away. They could still see me, but I'm out of their firing range. So there's that, at least. But yeah, we're just going for this stuff. You can see it in our little view right there. That gold oil. Now, the problem is, it won't last us. What the heck? Can they see me? No, they can't. I thought they were looking up at me. They just pushed them off the edge. Like, legit. They're like, nah, fam. You're not allowed in this club. This is the cool piglins only. Alright, so, yes, I now have enough gold to make golden boots, meaning I will be accepted amongst them. They won't hate me anymore. So, um, 
As long as I keep these on, actually. I think the piglins will be cool with me. It's just the hoglins I'll have to worry about, which the hoglins aren't as big of a threat, in my honest opinion. But they are still a big threat. So, I'm gonna do my good old two by one tactic. Sex P or really hates me. It's like, nah, I don't wanna be with this smelly body. Disgusting. So it's just gonna follow me, but it's gonna be like, no. You can still cur- They can fit in here. Alright, that's something I learned today. Alright, so that's why you back off. They could fit through that? What? Since when? Alright, so then there is no tactic to take these guys out, I guess. Man, I did not know that. We're just gonna plant these. Okay. Um. But these guys, see, they cool with me. I can grind up. I can grind up against them sexually and everything, and they have to deal with as little gas as possible. possible. Because of how big this crimson forest is, um, because gas is only spawn in, I believe, Nether wastes, Soul Sand valleys, um, and basalt deltas. I'm pretty sure I'm fine on gas. Now, something that's gonna suck is that I can't go down there without taking a ton of damage or you know dying so what am I gonna do pretty simple honestly there's a whole biome full of skeletons that have bone meal filled with bone meal their whole body has bones so I can easily get away with those piglins are gonna be attacking that attacking that those highlands so I think I'm good they're gonna defend me Now, the problem with this Soul Sand Valley is that it's got a ton of ranged mobs, and ranged mobs aren't my specialty. I'm gonna take these off so they don't break. Um, but I'm gonna, yeah, it's got ghasts. Yeah, that was what I was worried about. So we're just gonna need to dart. Aha, here's something I was looking for. This, right here. This stuff is called bone blocks. Ooh, actually, if I can get this gas to blow it up, um, I can harvest the bone blocks without having to use my pickaxe. Very limited durability. Um, all right. Well, I got 27 bone meal, so yay. So there was these weeping vines right here. I was seeing, right? Now, we have a way down here without dying. So we can just, whoops. All right, let's try it again, but this time let's hit it. Ah, uh, that was funny, was it not? Um, so we need to get stone tools. And then I'm probably gonna set up base at spawn, since I'm not allowed to use respawn anchors, because then that can reset my spawn completely. And it can, um, completely screw up the challenge, because then it will set my spawn back at world spawn, which, um, Bedrock don't let you set world spawn at, um, in, uh, the overworld. So, that would mean I have to, um, that would mean I'd have to redo a whole bunch of stuff to get me back in the nether, and I'm not doing that. So, instead, Rule is no respawn anchors. I can craft one, I can place it down, but I cannot use it to respawn. And another rule is um, no going back to the overworld. Or the end, if I somehow manage to get a hold of uh, portal frames, you can actually make end portals in the nether, but you can't really get a hold of portal frames in the nether, so. Yeah. Alright, so I got. Blackstone right here. This stuff is really neat because what it does is it allows me to make stone stuff, stone tools. Now I'm not gonna be able to make iron tools unless I find a piglin bastion or ruined portal or nether fortress because those are all ways to get a hold of iron. But that's the only ways. There is no iron ore in the nether. 
the only tools you can get a hold of in the nether is without looting chests anyways are um wood stone and gold to get diamond and iron tools you need to get a hold of a uh, freaking chest loot but if i can find diamonds in a uh, in um freaking uh fortresses then it is very much possible that i can get netherite in this and that that would be sick you can make uh tools out of it just like stone like it's literally just stone Look, now I mine faster, and I have stone tools. I can- that means now I can cook the raw pork chop that I have. However, what am I gonna be using as fuel? Well, whatever I'm gonna be using as fuel, it's certainly not gonna be... The warped wood. Or, no, crimson. Crimson, wood, whatever. Because, you can't use that stuff as fuel. Because it's inflammable, right? However, a little maneuver trick around this is that you can cook crafting tables. See? That is a way around um, warped wood not being able to smell stuff. You can make crafting tables. And it's, uh, yeah, I mean, that's pretty neat. Now I have cook pork chop I can eat it delicious all right so this is probably gonna ha be how I make my food for a while right here is my spawn so I'm gonna mark it with a nether four block I'm gonna build a house around this I'm gonna make sure it's five by five because I know I think you need at least like a five by five area for you to be able to respawn or something Something like that. I know exactly what it is, but I want a big area to be able to respawn. Alright, so now to build our house. And then we'll start making this look better over time. But this is gonna be a series. So we're gonna legit be... We're gonna build a house here. This is our spawn. So if we die, we'll respawn right here. Right? Oh boy. This is gonna be fun, isn't it? Yeah. Alright, they're just gonna fight out there. Gosh dang. Alright. Okay. Now, dig up the whole floor. Except for that one nether white wart block, because that marks my spawn. My spawn is very important. If I'm correct, that's my spawn. 0959. Yeah, right here. Huh. Didn't use cheats, I just looked at um what my spawn point was set to earlier. Cause Huh. Can't complain. Okay. Okay. There we go. That's looking okay. Nice. Now I can convert this, the rest of this into planks. Okay. Now, if this, I don't know how I got leather, but I did, I guess. Um. Is there anything in here I can smelt? Or I can use for fuel? No. Shroom lights are pretty much just glowstone, but when you mine it, it doesn't drop into dust. Yeah! Lighting! Yay! My house, I can see in it now. Yay! Woo! Light! Wait, is it animated? 
No, it's not. That sucks. Okay. Well, um, yay. I have light now. I have shroom light. Uh, funny. And, um, I have a house. So, we've already found a waste, and we've already gotten our blackstone. We already have a soul sand valley. We already have a crimson forest. I feel like we should go in the hunt for things like basalt deltas. And a warp forest. A warp forest is really what I should be on the hunt. Goodbye. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed um, the stream, video, whatever you're watching this on. Um, and in a couple weeks, we're gonna go warp forest hunting. Peace out.